On this example, we're dealing with a right triangle that we're given a little bit of information about this triangle. We know that A is gonna be seven, that's a side length, and then B side length is also gonna be two. So I'm gonna start by labeling these on our triangle. So we know that A is going to be seven, and then B is gonna be two on this side. Um, we're primarily focused on finding the six trigonometric ratios for this. And you'll notice down below that we're looking for sine of A, cosine of A, tangent of A. So we're really focused on A as being the angle that we're, we're looking at. So based on that, I'm gonna label the sides. So side A, we can refer to that as being the opposite side from angle A. We can say side B is gonna be the adjacent side to angle A. And we'd say C is gonna be the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. All right, so we currently have enough information that we can start filling in. Using SOHCAHTOA, we know uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we know the opposite and the adjacent, so we can fill in for tangent, which is gonna be seven over two. And that's enough information to get our cotangent as well, because the cotangent is gonna be the reciprocal of tangent. So we flip our fraction upside down basically and go two over seven is gonna be the cotangent. However, if we're getting sine opposite over hypotenuse or cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, we need the hypotenuse. So to find the hypotenuse, what we'll use is the Pythagorean theorem. As you'll hopefully recall is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c is always the hypotenuse in this formula. So let's fill in what we have. We have seven for a, two for B, and we still don't know C. So let's solve this down and find C. So seven squared is gonna be 49, two squared is four, and we'll leave it as C squared for right now. With a little reducing down on the left-hand side, we get 49 plus four makes 53. And now we have a power equation that to get rid of the, the square, the exponent, we're gonna apply a square root to both sides. I know that normally we, when we apply a square root, we use both a positive and a negative case, but because this represents a side length on a triangle, a negative case wouldn't really make sense. So now we have square root of 53, which is an exact um, value for C, our hypotenuse. So let's now fill in for sine and cosine. Sine is gonna be opposite seven over the hypotenuse, square root of 53. And then the cosine is gonna be adjacent to over the hypotenuse square root of 53. Um, we could do a little bit of reducing down here, at least putting it, uh, rationalizing our denominators. What we'd need to do is multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 53. In this case, would get the radical out of the denominator and you get square root of 53 times the square root of 53 just gives you 53. Um, I'm not going to do it with cosine, but it'd be very, very similar as far as an action goes. All right, now let's get cosecant, secant, um, and we already got cotangent, so that'll be it. So cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So we're going to go square root of 53 over 7. I'm using that original version before we rationalized. And then secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so square root of 53 over 2. These are nice exact answers. Of course, we could get decimal approximations by putting the square root of 53 into our calculators and using the calculators, but these are good exact answers. I hope this helps in you solving down, finding these trigonometric ratios. Good luck.